QuickBook Queen, Linda Russell. The tip today has to do with using similar names or using different names for customers and vendors. This comes out of my 15 years experience that many businesses will have a customer who is also a vendor. So they, they buy signs from Signorama, but they actually provide QuickBooks training to Signorama. So if you mix everything up under one name, it throws off all of the accounting and the bookkeeping. So if you, even though the Signorama guy is the same person, you want to make sure that if you are buying from him, you add his name to your vendor list. So you put his name in, you go new vendor, you put his name, his address, his phone number, all of the information. And I, there's actually three names that are put in when you set up a new vendor or a new customer. When the window opens, you'll see one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. I recommend skip over the top line Fill in the name Signorama on the second line down. That way you only have to type the name once. It will fly up to the top and fly to the bottom. It automatically puts it both places if you type in the middle one. If you type it in the top, it doesn't put it in the second one down. It does put it in the bottom one. So then you have to copy and paste. So fill in the second line with the name. It will go both places, but at the top name, that's really the list name. And that's what you're going to see on the left side of your, in a column of all your vendors. So after the name Signorama, put in parenthesis, vendor, unparenthesis. Now go over to the customer list and add them as a customer. And you will type in again. Will you type in the top line? No, you're going to skip the top line, type in the second line down. You can type it exactly the same, Signorama. You don't have to make it different at all there, same address and email. But after the names have been typed in and it flies up to the other place in the very top name, be sure that you put Signorama parenthesis customer or C-U-S-T, parenthesis, C-U-S-T, unparenthesis. That way, as you're typing along and you're entering invoices or you're writing checks, or entering bills and paying bills, you start to type in Signorama and you right away will see, oh, there's Signorama the customer and Signorama the vendor. And you can say, oh, I'm writing him an invoice for the work that I did for him. So you'll make sure you grab the name that's Signorama customer. However, if you're writing him a check to pay him for the sign that he made for your car, well, then you want to make sure you grab the one that says Signorama vendor. You want to make this easy to just enter this data as quickly as you can and not make mistakes because going back and fixing mistakes takes much longer than it does to get it right the first time. So that's the tip for if you have the same name but you pay people for different categories or different things, you want to make sure you put in parentheses what it is you're using that name for and it makes it very easy to keep everything accurate. Visit my website, qbqueen.com.